264 against UCLA. Running the running game is very important tonight against Stanford to set up their run game as well. Emptying out the backfield, Antolin out to the right. Short passes inside. Finer. And the way Stanford reacted, they thought it was a fumble. If this is ruled a fumble, they can review it. And if it's called an incompletion, they cannot review this. We'll have to see what the call is. He slipped. It looked like he had it, but it also looked like he was down when the ball came out. Yeah, well, they're calling it a catch and a fumble. Stanford football, but this can be reviewed. And I'm with you, Brent. I, you, when he slipped, you wonder if his backside touched the turf before he fumbled the ball. I don't think there's a question, is there, Herbie? It looks like to me. And obviously, they're going to take another look at that. That's about the best look we're going to have. Down he goes. Yeah, he looks yeah. like he's touched. I don't he think there's any question. Mike Stoops was almost to the middle of the field. Got to tell you that Sherman that goes after the loose ball, but Scove is the young man. He made a big who hit. Came up and made the big hit yeah. on this play. Scove deserves the credit. There he is on top number 11 and you can see Richard Sherman reaching for the ball. He is the cornerback mm -hmm. who recovered it. Our truck doing a great job giving the replay booth about as many looks as they need. And Mike was fired up obviously when Stanton when that call went in favor of Stanford. I think he felt he had a pretty good perspective of it because it happened right in front of him. He wants to know who called it a fumble. That's what he wants to know. He's got the side judge over there. It's a big, you know, however this goes, if Stanford gets a break and they get the ball to Arizona's 40, the way their offense can score, this is big. This is big early in Absolutely. this game. Last year's showdown went right down to the last play. Incomplete pass thrown by Stanford into the end zone and Mike Stoops and the Wildcats hung on for a big win. We have got two of the fieriest coaches in all of college football here tonight. Folks, you're going to enjoy the, uh, the sideline shots as we take another look at Brent, this. Brent, do you think, I mean, I'm caught up in is it a fumble or not? Do you think there's a question about is it a completion or not? I mean, it, it looks like he had the ball long enough where it's looks not like he made a football move before yeah, he slipped, yeah. didn't he? It, it looked like it, so. After review, pass is incomplete. Well, there you are. You're it right. It'll be second down and 10 at the 45-yard line. Please reset the game clock to 10.54. Thank you. See, Mike's, Mike's still fired up because he's saying, if I could see that from the sideline, you guys can make that call. Bottom line is Stanford doesn't have the football. His offense comes back out. And now it's second down at 10. But yeah, that, I'm glad they're up here trying to figure out incompletion, <laughs> completion, fumble. Is he down?